ready to go. Okay, ready. Ooh. Ready. BFF. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you make friends? Okay. We have learned. We have to learn how to use our words. It's a fantastic thing. We humans are so easily trapped in our own words. The words. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. <laughs> I can read it. That's it. <clears throat> no more communication. Thank you. Okay. You were talking about February 2nd. Go on. I just finished the job. Oh, it's you. Oh. Someone called my number just before I went back to the office. She was a woman. A wolf entered her property, a mansion a few miles from Atlanta. She specified that she wanted exclusively my help. Didn't seem like an unusual request. I'm the best hunter in the state. Not uncommon to ask for my help. I mean, do you often do you, uh, do you in often deal with wolves here in Georgia? <laughs> no, not really. Can we go on? <laughs> Please. <laughs> go on. <clears throat> After about two hours, I was standing in front of the entrance door, and I tried to knock, with, but without result. I thought about breaking down the door and going inside. Maybe the wolf started lunch without expecting me. <laughs> or maybe someone was making fun of my time. In any case, I was no longer necessary. What, what do, do you mean? mean? Oh. I saw the door opening in front of me. Nothing strange. <laughs> This is going too okay. fast for me. Of course, you said the one inside the hall was deserted. Mm. <laughs> I noticed a phone on a small table near the entrance. That thing didn't stop ringing. Bring, and that bring, was the first bring, time bring. I heard Emily's voice. Hello? Do you mean Miss Wells? She thought it was her father. I asked if her parents were home. She told me that she hadn't seen her father in years and that her mother was dead. Jesus. No parents, no rewards. I had no reason to stay. <laughs> I was about to leave when I saw something moving in the dining room. Are you talking about the wolf? It's fucking wolf. There was no wolf. I've never seen such a beast. <laughs> it's a goddamn vampire. I went to the dining room and it took my rifle out of its holster. I shot my whole magazine in the head of the bastard. And you know the funny thing? No scratches, no wounds, nothing at all. I know what you're thinking. But I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've never missed a shot in my life. I was with my back against the wall, and the first time I was the prey. How'd you save yourself? Emily saved me. She was also in the dining room, but on the opposite side of the room. She was there, but I was, as I already told you, her, your colleague, I couldn't see her. The sound of her bell managed to distract the wolf. I used the opportunity to leave the room and close the door behind me. At that point, I tried to leave the villa, but the front door was locked. So what did you do? Emily explained to me that I had no choice. If I wanted to leave the house, I had to go to her father's personal laboratory. There I would have found an emergency exit or something like that. Why was she helping me? She didn't tell me, and I honestly didn't care. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She added that the entrance was hidden in her parents' room, but without her father's magnetic card, I couldn't unlock it. We had to find it! And this is where the story gets interesting. Can we play now? I think I'll need some whiskey. Yes, please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. April 16th, 2021. Pick up the library key. Oh my god. It's April 16th, 2022 today. Oh no. Picked up a map. Oh, there's a key. Oh. Solve the puzzle in the library. I have a map. Yes, I have a map too. To the hall. Mm hmm. It's all the way to the right. right? To the right. Ground floor I just... plan. Before going up the stairs, it's to the right. So don't go up the stairs? Don't go up the stairs. Help okay. to solve the puzzle. Solving the puzzle in the library. It's the last door on the right. So says the map. I am very glitchy and laggy and I, I don't... I know. 
options. Let's see. Uh, let's turn that off and see free if that game, does it. Remember? What? It's a free game, remember? Yeah. Oh. Okay. In the library. So this is the last door on the right here. Sure. It's a very lovely library. A library like this. Oh, yeah, he's fancy. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, yeah, I just want to close the door. Thanks. Dear Lucy, dear Jameson, she kindly asked me I'd prepare a list of my reading suggestions for the next book club, Meeting the Christmas Carol. An old-fashioned classic, I hope other guests can appreciate the genre. If they do, they are going to love all you zombies. Straight from my compilation and masterpieces, War of the Worlds. <laughs> the door just opened. Yeah, I'm hearing those two. That just scared me half to death. Okay. <laughs> Dear Mr. Wells, Despite not being a lover of paper mail as you are, especially comparing it to the diff... diff... The, the, the diff definitely more efficient electronic counterpart, I decided to indulge your passion and collect my thoughts and advice in a letter. I'd like to inform you that your brother contacted me by phone, although I'm unaware of your relationship. What I was sure to see during our brief conversation is that he has great affection for you and your family. The news regarding his niece Emily had a huge emotional impact on him to the point he showed himself open to medical help for the first time, setting aside his own ideologies for a greater good. In recent years, drug therapies and non-invasive treatments such as night ventilation that can double life expectancy with respect to the past have been discovered. If you allow me, I'd like to discuss them with you in more depth hoping I'll be able to change your mind about medicine today and with the hope that our next conversation could take place in person. I wish you and your family a good day. Yours sincerely, Paul Morio. Morio, MD. Hmm. Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm. Interesting. What's in Touch your everything. Library? I'm touching everything. Hold on. Okay. What's in your library? Come oh, on down. I just pulled a book out. You did. With a candle on it. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of books with pictures on them that I can touch. Bunch of books with pictures on them. Okay, cool. Does your the library have pictures of paintings on them? I mean, there are paintings. Okay. There's the one over the fireplace with the horses. Check. Okay. There's the ones with the horses and the lady and the doggo. Mm, check. Um, there's one of an open field with people in it. Check. There's the one over the door that looks like it's a war. Yeah, that's a war picture. Check. And the one over the sofa that's like a field with a path. Okay. So we have the same pictures. But what do your pictures on your books look like? Just give me one. Oh, I can run. You might have to run. Um, okay. So this one has a bird. Burb. That's a candle. It's a clock. It's a thumbs up. That's a goat sheep. I don't know. That looks like a flying saucer. Looks like a wizard's hat. Fire. Door with 69 on it sideways. A bunny rabbit. A zombie person. And a pig. Interesting array of stuff you have. Yep, and they're all in different colored books. Different colored books. Hmm. <clears throat> Where's that located in terms of your room? Um, a, um, directly across on the wall, directly across from the door. Hmm. 
To the right of the window. To the right of the window. Interesting. I don't see anything that has a pig in here. Okay, I pulled the pig and it slid back into place automatically. But I pull the candle and it doesn't, so there's probably a certain order. Interesting. Pull the books out. Okay. Candle. Mm hmm. Mm, clock. Okay. Uh, nope, they slid back into place. Okay, so there's something before the clock. That's where thing clock is different. Oh. Maybe. No, I, I nope. see the candle in the corner of my room. Okay. I see that. The clock is in the center, so I'm wondering if maybe that's. Okay, so we'll try candle feather. Just for shits and giggles. Feather? You do you have a feather? No. No feather? No. Okay. So repeat the ones you have. You had a pig. A uh, pig. A zombie looking mother. A uh, rabbit. A door. Well, it could be an elevator with 69 sideways. A fire. Um, wizard hat. UFO. Goat sheep thing. Thumbs up. Clock, candle, and burp. Interesting. Interesting array of things you have. What'd you do? I rung the bell. I saw that purple circle on the floor. You were over here next to this chair. Yes. Um, as far as I can tell. Oh, there it is. So it was the candle and the zombie looking dude. No, oh, maybe it's in relation to my mate. Maybe. Because of Christmas Carol. Yeah, oh. it could be that. And then all you zombies. And then... War of the Worlds. So the UFO. And then Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So the thumbs up. So the thumbs up. Yeah. Wow.